Refer to the regulatory strategy that outlines the countries in the world where you plan to market the device. This regulatory strategy should be completed early in the design and development process. According to your regulatory and market access strategy, you will need to determine the applicable labelling requirements for each country area by finding the relevant regulations. In this course, we will cover the requirements for medical device labelling applicable in the EU. Other area requirements can usually be found through the regulations or guidance documents in those countries. For a general introduction, I recommend you to read through the GHTF document on labelling, label and instructions for use for medical devices. This document is part of your course resources. Labelling requirements for medical devices entail Knowing in which geographical areas you want to market the label devices. For example, European Union, United States, etc. Understanding the definitions and regulations for labelling in each area. Knowing whether labelling can be provided electronically. Addressing the regulatory requirements, including language translations, from each area. Incorporating the results from risk management and post-market surveillance. Utilising standards in preparation of labelling. The following slides will give you a comprehensive overview about what is required as information to be supplied by the manufacturer or labelling for medical devices regulated by the European Medical Device Directive 93-42-EEC, briefly MDD. Let us start with the definition of the intended purpose and its relation to labelling. MDD 93-42-EEC, Article 1, states, Intended purpose means the use for which the device is intended according to the data supplied by the manufacturer on the labelling, in the instructions and or in promotional materials.